we're back on the Martha Zoller Show. This is Ashley Bell filling in for Martha Zoller. I've said it a couple of times. Uh, uh, next up, we have a, a, a great author with us, Miss Jackie uh, Cushman. Uh, Jackie Gingrich Cushman, actually. Jackie, thank you so much for, for joining us on the Martha Zoller Show. Thank you, Ashley, for having me on. I'm thrilled to be with you today. Hey, no problem. We, we, we hear your book. As, uh, it, it's already out, if, I, if I'm correct. Yes, yes, it came out just a few weeks ago. Okay, well, give us the title and and, and, and how and basically what what's the subject matter of your book? Um, the book's titled Five Principles for a Successful Life right. from Our Family to Yours. And it probably gives you a clue that I co wrote it. My co author is my father, who is Newt Gingrich. Oh, okay. Yes, right. so, so, yes, exactly. So it's, it's, been <laughs> a real, it's been a really fun project. Right. Um, this is our first book together. We, we've done some articles together for opinion articles. But this is our first big project, and we really had a great time. Now, tell me, uh, how was it working with your father? Uh, who, who took lead? Uh, you know, that's a, that's a great question. Actually, I kind of took the lead on this project. Um, these principles and the five principles are dream big, work hard, learn every day, enjoy life, and be true to yourself. Um, and these are principles that he has talked about for years um, that I had never really heard because when I went to college, he started using these principles for his commencement speeches, his inspirational speeches. So by that time, I was kind of out of following him around and going to all of his speeches um, that I did for the first, you know, 18 years of my life. Um, but when, when he and I were talking about how to transfer values down to our children, how to inspire people um, for where we are today, he mentioned these principles, and we decided it would be really fun for us to do a book together. So, um, wow. so yeah, so, and the way we laid it out is we have his personal stories, um, we have my personal stories. We have my stories about him. Okay. They're always, always good. You know, it's always good to tell stories on Dad. Then we also have a lot of research. I spent um, a lot of time. We have 25 different reference articles um, and books that we refer to, um, a lot of which are, are scientific studies. I did a lot of that research. But the, the, the really fun part was we also have 42 different contributors from a wide really? range of areas. Yeah. Now, how did you choose those folks? You know, that's a, and they really kind of evolved like a lot of things. We started, you know, we started the book, and the dad goes, you know, wouldn't it be great if we got some people to contribute how one of these principles impacted their lives? I said, that, that's great. So we started, and the first person I actually asked is a friend of mine, Patrick Kearney, okay. who at the time was Atlanta Falcons football player. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and he's now at Seattle. So he gave us a really great quote about dreaming big and how he had this vision when he was young of um, physical perfection. And even though he went originally to play lacrosse, he kept that vision when he moved to football. Um, so it, it showed you how, how important the, the big dreams are. And then after we got Patrick, we started thinking, you know, we need to have people from all areas that represent, um, you know, not just politics or one side of the spectrum, but really, since this is a book about life, that really give a lot of different um, perspectives on how they've applied these, these, um, these different principles. So, for instance, we have both Bill Clinton and um, Rush Limbaugh. Bill Clinton like, actually contributed to the book. Yes, yes. Now, how, now, no, no, okay, there had to be a deal broker there. How did... <laughs> you know, the interesting thing about um, he... about about Dad and President Clinton is obviously they they worked together when um, Dad was Speaker and, and Clinton was um, was President. They worked together. That's yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. they worked together. <laughs> um, and, and and I think they have you know obviously their policies and, um, and beliefs are very different, right. but I think they have this mutual respect in that you know both of both my dad and President Clinton came from very humble beginnings. Um, my dad's um, father was a career army officer, and he, you know, moved around with, with his family. Um, President Clinton came from, you know, from no real money or social stature, and he, he worked his way up, very hard worker. Um, and, and I think there is some of that mutual respect in terms of they've both lived their version of the American political dream. Um, but we do. We have Bill Clinton. We have Rush Limbaugh, Michael Steele. Um, you know, you rarely see those in the same book with, with, you know, with Newt Gingrich. And we have James Carville and Mary Matlin. <laughs> that, this, this book sounds quite confusing. No, I'm, I'm sure it sounds, I'm, I'm sure it's well put together. Let me understand this right. What, when, when you went to people to contribute, did you say talk about family? Did you say talk about, uh, what got you here? Are there any, are there any politics in the book? You know, it's, it's not really about politics. I mean, clearly James Carville's, um, big dream was to be become a political consultant. So his reference is in that framework. But what we asked him to do is we said, look, um, you know, you, you're, you're, you've been successful in your chosen area, right. um, which, which matches up how we started the book, which is, you know, when you, when you read the book, the first thing we tell you to do is everyone has to define 
their version of success. Because right. everyone has a different version. That's very true. So, so, so the first thing, you know, obviously these people have been successful in, you know, in, in their version of success. And we said, you know, explain, you know, provide a, a contribution that explains how one of these five principles um, impacted you on your journey. Because I really think life is, is very much a journey. We, we like to be, say we're successful, but really, you know, we're living a successful life because life changes every minute. Um, and you can't, you know, you can't just point at one point in time. You have to say, over time, have I lived my life as successfully as I can? Um, and that's what we asked for. Right. And, and, and we got, you know, of course, there, there, there are overachievers in every, uh, everything you do. Greta Van Susteren provided us with all five. Because <laughs> she did oh, all right, five. Right, of things. Right. Exactly. But, but, she, but Greta's an overachiever, you know. She is. She, she works is. very she hard. <laughs> well, Jeff, I want to hold you to the other side really quick. If you uh, just stay with us, we'll, we'll go to a quick commercial break, and we'll be back uh, finishing up, talking about this book, Five Principles, and all the great folks that are in it. And we're still with Miss Jackie Gingrich Cushman talking about her book, Five Principles of Life. Uh, Miss Cushman, actually, uh, June 19th at 7 p.m., will be at Rock Point Books. And that's at 401 Broad Street, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, and I hear you also be on Huckabee's show this week. Is that right? That's right. We'll be on the, um, the show this weekend. So I'm looking forward to doing that as well. And that's your first time doing the Huckabee show? Yeah, actually, I did it um, last fall, right around Thanksgiving, I believe. Um, and it was a lot of fun. He happened to be here in Atlanta. Um, and I went on the set here. And just a, just a generally nice guy. Fun, fun to be with, fun to talk to. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing him this weekend. Now, what do you what, what would you say folks could take from this book when after they get done reading? What what, what would you hope they would take from reading your book? Um, I hope they take a couple of things. First of all, I hope they take um, the idea that life is a journey and life um, evolves over time, and so to you know to, to look at life over a span of years and, and over things that you do not at a single point in time, which I think is really important. I think especially in times like these when people are discouraged and disheartened and things aren't going well, I think there is a, um, an automatic response to look at the, the negativity and the things that happen immediately and not to focus on the long term. So that's number one. And the second thing is I hope people take, um, take away the idea that optimism and um, working through, through systems and through principles that matter really do make a difference in your life so that you know, it, you know, in the next five years, in the next seven years, ten years, if you apply these principles, if you go back to them time and time again, if you're routinely optimistic and you keep working, that you really can live a successful life. Dad and I really do think that everybody can live a successful life. They just have to apply themselves and follow these principles. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, we really appreciate you coming in and telling us about the book. I hope folks go out and get a chance to read it and definitely join you in Chattanooga, and I'll definitely be watching you on the Huckabee Show this weekend. That's great. Thanks so much for having me on. No, thank you. We'll talk to you soon.